In Character Animator, adding physics to your artwork really helps it come to life. Let's start with a property called Dangle. This includes stuff like hair, fur, a necklace, strings, a scarf, or whatever you can think of. These are secondary animations. They're elements that automatically animate and react to your primary movements just due to basic physics without any extra work on your part. So how can you do this in Character Animator? We'll keep it simple to start. Here's a single strand of hair attached to this head. Without any extra information, it's just going to move along with the head, which is what we want for stuff like our eyes, nose, and mouth, but for static hair, it feels pretty lifeless. Within my head group inside Photoshop, I'm going to create a subgroup called Plus Hair, and I'll drag my single strand in there. The plus just means it can move, bend, and warp independently from the rest of the head, which is exactly what we want hair to be able to do. Now I'm going to make two new blank layers inside this new hair group, and select the pen tool, which will let us make some invisible data points we call handles. I'm going to put one handle at the top of the hair strand, and rename it Origin, and another at the bottom, and rename it Dangle. By naming these layers this way, we're rigging this hair for animation. Think of the origin handle as if we're pinning it down with a thumbtack, meaning this is where it's attached to the head. Think of dangle as a small weight, meaning this is the point that gravity is going to try to naturally pull towards the ground. In Character Animator, I can immediately see that my hair now has some sway associated with it. All I have to worry about is moving my head, and the app takes care of the rest. Let's try copying this group several times in Photoshop and moving the strands to new locations. I'll put some strands in front of the head artwork layer, and some in back. I'm also going to free transform each group, that's Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows, to make some hair fatter, some thinner, some longer, and some shorter. This means every strand of hair is going to react a little differently, because they each have different forms. For longer hair, you can even add multiple dangle handles if you want to specify several breakpoints. Now you can really start to see how a layered hair system could add some fluidity and movement to your characters. And it's really fun to play around with the parameters under the dangle menu in your properties panel. The spring stiffness and attachment strength can make your hair longer and springier, while the wind strength, direction, and variation can really get it flowing. With every character I make, I'll tweak the values here until I get the effect I want. And it doesn't have to be over the top. Even small, subtle movements can make a big difference. This girl character has over 20 different hair layers, each with a slightly different size and handle position. When you combine them together, it creates a pretty nice, natural effect. An experiment with the parameters lets me change the length or springiness at any time. Another example of physics in Character Animator is the particle system. If I wanted this monster to shoot fire from his hand, for example, I'd create a single flame layer where I want the particles to shoot out of, and in the layer name, add a plus in front and a keyboard trigger so it'll only show up when I press that key. Then in Character Animator, I'd find that layer within my puppet panel, add the particle behavior to it, and play around with the parameters, and there you go, instant fire. Now, sometimes I'll double or triple particle layer systems and make slight tweaks to the values like opacity, scale, and spread to give them more of a random, layered effect. I also like more subtle particle effects, like little pieces of fur that I can trigger when the monster's tail moves. You can even set them to bounce and collect on the floor. Hopefully these tips help you with your own creations. Take a closer look at some of these Photoshop and Illustrator files as part of the free Puppet Pack download in the video description below. Play around and feel free to use them as templates to help build your own characters and stories. Good luck and thanks for watching.